All right, chat, uh, we're reloading the intro. Uh, hello, folks from YouTube. This is uh, the new PTB that just dropped on Dead by Daylight on Steam. Uh, it includes a new killer, The Knight. It's an original killer that has a pretty mind-blowing power. Um, we will show you in a minute his perks, and the new survivor's perks are pretty game-changing, and we're going to get to that in a second. Uh, and this is the new map. What do you think? It is. It looks a lot bigger than it actually is, with the edges being faded into a bunch of buildings. We're playing with some friends, just to say this again. And I'm gonna run you through the power super, super, super fast. Uh, essentially, um, he is a normal killer with normal terror radius, normal speed, normal uh, stature. Everything is normal or average. But his ability allows him to set up waypoints where he summons three different guards that rotate. So he basically summons guards to help him out. You can set these guards to patrol points and they automatically chase survivors following some somewhat complex AI. Or you can also send them to do tasks for you like kick gens and stuff like that, which is uh, kind of mind blowing, really. Um, uh, on, on his wrist, you know which soldier comes next. Well, let's do some normal animations. Hello. Whoa, that feels powerful. Okay. And... Okay, let's use his power. Or there. So while that happens, you can go and do other stuff, which is kind of nuts. And as you can see, now instead of a skull, I have a sword. Because every time you use one of your soldiers, you switch to the next one. And there's three. And this one, apparently, is the better one for chasing survivors. Let's try. Oh. All right, let's set him to patrol this. All right, does he find a survivor? Oh, he found a survivor. Here he goes. He leaves a, a standard behind. And look, he's going for it, just like Legion. Oh my god. He tried his best. He cannot deal with pallets, apparently. And he got him. And you get a killer instinct when that happens. So the way that survivors can avoid this is by running very, very far for long enough, or by destroying the little flag that they leave behind, which is a little bit crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna kick this Shen, and I'm gonna show you one of his first uh, perks. Nowhere to hide. When you do this, you see the autos of every survivor around you, which I'm already thinking is gonna be super disgusting on a lot of killers, and with a lot of builds. Uh, let me show you the rest of perks. Uh, that's nowhere to hide, but we also have Hubris, uh, which makes you uh, instant on survivors when you stun them and face the darkness, which is also Kind of scary because it makes people scream randomly when they're outside of my terror radius uh, Let's see if we can get someone to stun me to test hobbers Yep, it's on now. Let me try to insta down the new survivor Vittorio. Oh, I missed all right Can I use my power though? Oh, yeah Break that. Ooh, I missed. I think I think the effect is out of the gun though. But yeah, if I had hit him earlier, that would have been an insta down. That's cool. <laughs> each of these guards, each of these guards have different abilities, and some of them are better at patrolling. Some of them are better at breaking stuff, and some of them are better at finding survivors. Someone's there. All right. Which is kind of cool. And the final perk uh, should happen the moment we step away from survivors. Because if they don't do that totem that spawn over there, that's face the darkness, they'll begin to scream if they're uh, away from me. Let's see if that happens. Anyone? So basically, when you injure a survivor, everyone else is cursed and they need to do the totem or else they keep screaming and drilling their location. But I'm not sure it's working. Let me show you the description again. That's face of darkness. Well, the hexes have uh, terrorists will scream intermittently. Yeah, they're they're really not screaming, huh? Oh, uh, oh, they need to be injured, maybe. Uh, do you think this will work again? Oh, oh, the the totem went away. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, now let's be away from the survivors, the other ones. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's imagine I'm busy here, or I'm a stealth killer and I don't have a terror radius. Where are the other ones? Are they screaming? 
Mm. Does it only work on the person I hit first? Hey, there they are. There they are. Okay, it does work. But maybe this intermittent is too intermittent, huh? Yeah, that didn't seem super incredible. Hmm. Yeah, the perk has gone... has reappeared somewhere? Yeah, the perk has reappeared elsewhere. Okay, that is a bit interesting. Alright, so I'm gonna set a huge path. And... Uh, where's... Oh, yeah, they, they do it in reverse. I forgot. Alright, so this is the assassin type. Oh! Oh, it goes through obstacles! Oh my god, that's sick! Haha! <laughs> Let's go! Wait, not only, not only does it... This one doesn't go just through obstacles, it also does mending. Yeah, it's like a lesion type. Oh, uh, that's crazy. Right, so basically, since you go through all of them... Nice. Since you go through... Oh, that's a stun! So that guy is insta-down. Uh, Lucy, let me hit you. Where are you, Lucy? Lucy? Oh, I guess not? Oh, it's, is it you that did it? <laughs> yeah, insta down. There you go. All right, let's get someone. Let's get someone more, hit, shall we? They'll need to hit stage two on the hook for that to happen. Wow! Go for it. Go go. I'll I'll get him down again. No worries. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, where do you go? All right, short patrol route. What what does this one do? Well. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so that's all three of them. Alright, let's do one more. More of the new survivor? Oh, we'll do that too, no worries. Alright. Uh, Nina, you're gonna go on the hook, buddy. Uh, you struggle a little bit, so you hit stage two, maybe? Uh, by the way, the new map has a bunch of recycled... Uh, structures like it's got structures like like shack and a new building with a couple floors. It seems nice. All right, let's get you again. You guys want to go inside lockers and stuff? Wait, wait, did I down them both or did they just troll me? Hold up. New survivor is pretty dude. All right, let's go somewhere super open. And let's do a little more. Okay. Oh, I'm excited, dude. Come, 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 come. Damn it. Okay, then. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, there he comes. There he comes. Oh. <laughs> Don't run. Don't run. <laughs> Let him catch you. Let him catch you. Let him catch you. <laughs> All right, okay, guys, no photo bombing. All right, let's get a, let's get a clean Mori. Like, I'll take you a bit further. Thank you so much. This should be perfect. Okay. Okay, dude. All right, man. Holy. Okay. Jesus. Oh my god. That was like a fatality. That wasn't even a Mori, dude. That was that was just bullying. Oh my lord. That was sick. <laughs> wow. 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 All right. Let's have a look at that. That is beyond brutal, dude. I love it. I love it. Uh, let's talk about the survivor perks real quick. We already overlooked the the killer ones. Let's talk about the survivor perks and then have a look at these add-ons. And we can call it um, uh, we can call it a wrap as far as this quick overview is concerned. That is amazing, dude. All right. So um, his perks. What do I think of them? 
Uh, nowhere to hide is possibly his best perk. There's a lot of perks right now that go well with kicking gens, and this is a nurse's wet dream. Kick a gen in their map, you see everyone around you. It's so disgusting, so good. Uh, Hubris is a bit more strange. Not a lot of killers get stunned and then get a chance to hit survivors, but some of them do. You'll see some fun builds with this. It's a bit of an evil perk. Face the darkness could be great or could be terrible. It depends on how often survivors scream. If survivors screaming get interrupted from gens, it could go really well with um, perks like Deadman Switch, uh, killers like Pig, so that you can't even do boxes. I don't know, this perk, it's weird. I, I have a hard time uh, explaining exactly how good it will be until we know more about its numbers, but it has some potential at least. Right now it seems to be a bit strange. Now we're gonna switch to Survivor. And this is Vittorio, the new Survivor. And his perks are actually a bit insane. Um, all of them seem very game-changing and we're gonna start... We're gonna start from the beginning, hold up. There we go. His first perk is Potential Energy. This perk is basically a bank of gen progress. Uh, what you do is, after you've been on a gen for a while, you activate the perk with a button, and then any gen repairs that you do, don't go into the gen, they just go into your bank. Right? Uh, you do lose a bit of it, it's not one-to-one -one efficiency, but forget that. Let's say you work on a gen for... 30 seconds? Well, basically, you get to you get 20 seconds worth of gem progress. And then you can go to another gen, press the button, and then you automatically, bam, bring those 20 seconds to that gen. This is actually pretty insane. If you have a really nice 3 gen as a killer, survivors can do another gen elsewhere, build this perk up, maybe two of them, then go and destroy a gen with it. Uh, it has a bit of risk and reward. Uh, reward, because honestly you can do that, but also risk because you can lose progress if you get damaged and that would be very inefficient if that happens. So yeah, really scary perk. Really, really scary perk. Then we have Fogwise, a perk that is scary in its simplicity. When you hit a great skill check on a generator, and good survivors can do that pretty consistently, especially with higher FPS, you see the killer's aura. It's like alert, but way, way better. And this is amazing for solo players, for survivor friends, to be fair, you know, almost anyone knows where the killer is at any given time, so it doesn't matter so much, but it's amazing for solo players. It doesn't really work against stealth killers too much, because they're undetectable and it shouldn't work, but it is a massive counter with kill to, for killers with small tail radius, like Myers, who are not undetectable. You really won't catch people by surprise. And also, for killers that have to set up, like Trapper and Hag, this seems super cruel, because you'll see everywhere they are at all given times. With toolboxes, you can hit, you can get skill checks very often through, which is... Pfft. Yeah, this perk is scary good. Scary, scary good. And then the final perk is Quick Gambit. Uh, very simple perk, if you're being chased and you are 24 meters next to a gen or multiple gens, all of the swappers around you do gens 8% faster. 8% faster is not insane, you don't typically get chased for 2 minutes next to 2 gens, but especially in indoor maps, like you guys pointed out, this perk is a nice thing to have. It's also one of the few perks that you can put on yourself to help your teammates while you run the killer, so uh, it's not too bad, I don't think it's as strong as the other two. And that's about it. Now let's have a look at the killer add-ons. Now that we know how the power looks a little bit, we can begin to break them down. And yeah, let's start with the browns. Tattered Tabard uh, increases the patrol time for all guards by six seconds. Ooh, so they have a timer associated to them. That's that's pretty good. Decreases the amount of time it takes for a guard to complete their order action by 25. Order actions is kicking gens, breaking pallets, and breaking walls, I believe. Interesting. Uh, so it's like a brutal strength for your guards. Increases the detection range of guards by 6 meters. Damn, these are good browns. Uh, greedy Lump. Increases the guards' movement speed while on patrol by 9%. Oh, Are they gonna get better? Treated Blade. When cycling through summon guards, the assassin appears twice in a row. <gasps> the assassin is the one that does legion-style chase and does deep wound, but can also down survivors. That seems good, because he seems powerful. Increases the amount of time a guard will hunt a survivor by 4 seconds. Wow. When cycling through summon guards, the Jailer appears twice in a row. I don't quite understand what the Jailer does better than the other ones, but that's good. That's interesting. Increases the line of patrol by 10 meters, and while creating the path, movement speed is increased by 25. That seems amazing, so that you can make a really long patrol. These patrols with perks like Ruin, DMS, and Passive Stall are gonna be really annoying. Well, Battle Axe Head. When cycling through, the Carnifex appears twice in a row. That's the one with the big axe. Cool. 
I like these. Town's Watch Storage. Uh, when survivors escape guard hunts without being hit three times, the night gains undetectable status for 25 seconds. Oh, so basically, if survivors are doing really good, you get a bit of a boost. Interesting. Uh, when a survivor escapes a guard hunt successfully, the survivor from the oblivious for 20 seconds. Okay. When a survivor is attacked by a guard, the survivor serves from blindness for 60 seconds. Not too bad, considering that you can apply it to a bunch of survivors. Guards inflict the hemorrhage status of egg when damaging a survivor. Whoa, okay. Broken hail. Guards inflict the mangled when damaging a survivor. What? Uh, after summoning the Jailer, the Knight's movement is speeded by 10% for 6 seconds. Oh, so you could use this with the Jailer one so that you can get speed boosts pretty often. After summoning the Assassin, all survivors more than 60, 36 meters from the guards scream and reveal their cool location for 3 seconds. What? Wow, okay. After summoning the Carnifex, the Knight can see the others of survivors within 24 meters of unbroken pallets. Oh... When a survivor escapes a hunt by any means other than the flag, that survivor is hindered and exhausted for 15 seconds. What? That is pretty good. Knight's contract. The original document contracting Tarhos to Vittorio's employ. Every fourth guard summoned causes survivors within 8 meters of that guard to suffer from the exposed status effect for 8 seconds. Okay, so every now and then you have an insta-down. Mm, I'm not a big fan of iridescence with insta-down, but alright. Potentially, I mean, you, you. it seems like you can use your power next to people on the hook. Uh, but unhooking, this is very critical, unhooking stops guards. So that's good. I guess you can use this to camp, hopefully. Even this in company banner. Where this banner was raised, those who call themselves civilized run and hit. Because for all their codes and laws, they have nothing resembling actual strength. While a survivor is hunted by a guard, spikes block the exit for the survivor. When they vault, that vault location is blocked for all survivors. Oh, okay. While creating a patrol path, passing through vault locations will block this location for 15 seconds. Oh, dude, okay. This one's... So it has a bit of endgame because it, it, it blocks exits and it also auto-blocks uh, vaults. So this could help with god windows and whatnot. All right, dude. I I'm thinking the, the fun of this is going to be just figure out which of the three guards is more OP, bring the yellow add-on to bring him, bring them more often, and then maybe support. But the, not gonna lie, the brown add-on stood out as really, really strong. Uh, chat, uh, what are your first impressions on this killer? This, this seems, this seems pretty good. It will come down to their AI and, and how much they get stuck and whatnot, but even as a utility, they seem nice. It's, it's a very ambitious uh, new map, new chapter, new new everything. It's a very ambitious uh, DLC we're gonna get, huh? Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. We're gonna practice this a bunch on stream. Uh, you'll be able to catch us live for, for the rest of the day. And when we're a little bit better at using it, we'll try to showcase uh, a full match of playing this, maybe with the with some of the new perks and add-ons. So yeah, maybe keep an eye out on YouTube for the gameplay in actual, um, uh, in actual you know, context uh, of this killer. It's gonna be really, really exciting. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, say goodbye to you too. Bye-bye, chat. See ya. Bye-bye. Yup, yup. See y'all, guys. Thank you. Bye, mom.